Good morning, Britain. Our top story this morning, the battle in Brussels begins. David Cameron faces a tense meeting today with other European leaders following Britain's vote to turn its back on the EU. Well, the Prime Minister wants his replacement to lead the process of Britain leaving the EU, but David Cameron's going to come under real pressure here in Brussels from other EU leaders who want negotiations to start right away. Both main parties continue to tear themselves apart as the fight for Labour's leadership and the keys to number 10 intensifies. A vote of no confidence in Jeremy Corbyn today and tomorrow nominations to replace David Cameron. But who will be taking charge? The face of British politics is about to change forever. Out of Europe for the second time in a week, England suffer a humiliating defeat at the hands of Iceland, a country with the same population as Leicester. Nobody took the game to the Icelandic team at all. Right, honestly, I just thought it was a shambles. Yes, the England team are now preparing to return home under a cloud with Roy Hodgson, who resigned as manager straight after the game. I'll have all the latest from Nice. But it was a fairy tale finish for British tennis player Marcus Willis at Wimbledon as he beat Ricardo Barrancas, ranked up 718 places above him. Today, Andy Murray begins his campaign for the crowd. And the X Factor audition that's got everyone, even Simon, dancing. We'll have a first look at the brand new series. He's not dancing. Tuesday, 28th of June, 2016, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. Our main news this morning, David Cameron will begin negotiations in Brussels today to determine Britain's place in a Europe bruised by its Brexit decision. In what will no doubt be a rather awkward first meeting with leaders of other EU states since the vote, he'll urge everyone to take a constructive approach to building a new relationship. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford in Brussels. Pretty difficult day ahead for Mr Cameron, I would imagine, Richard. 